Hickey and I'm here with Global Business Development Manager Jimmy Soderstrom to talk about configuration of non-contacting radar. Hi Jimmy. Hi, pleasure to be here. Pleasure to have you. Let's start by outlining when you would use non-contacting radar. So the 5408 handles most challenges you would see in the process industry such as foam, turbulence, condensation, etc. But you can also use it generally when you have obstructions in the tank or simply when you don't want anything in contact with the media, such as in food and beverage installations. What's a typical configuration? So historically, you had to do a lot of manual configurations, set thresholds, etc. But not anymore. Uh, now you simply set up your tank as it looks like and range uh, the configuration. Can you step us through a standard setup for an application for the Rosemount 5408? Absolutely. So this is what it looks like. You have a very intuitive interface that shows you the different options that you need to do. So for instance, if you select a spherical tank, you see that the picture changes. Uh, same if you go to the next step in the configuration. You can see that it's currently configured for a 1.7 meter tank height. But if we enter a 10 meter tank, for instance, you can see that it also changes. So you get that immediate feedback to see if you configure it right or wrong. And the same applies when you do the ranging of your device. So for instance, here you can see that the 20 milliamp is set to uh, nine meters. But if I change that to 12 meters, you will get a notification and you will also see that it's currently set to outside of the tank, which is typically not what you want. What more can you tell us about this application we're looking at? So the 5408 is one of the first FDI compliant transmitters on the market. As, and as you could see previously, it's a very graphical interface and it's the new standard for integration into any host system. There is a wizard to help with configuration. So what's the process we need to go through to get this instrument ready for the application we see in front of us? So as I mentioned, normally you don't need to do any additional configuration other than what we just went through. But if you do run into problems, we do have the echo curve, which you see here, which is very intuitive. And we also have a historian that uh, logs data for up to seven days. and. Uh, it stores alerts for any process change and you can actually retrieve the echo curve from that particular moment in time. Before we wrap things up, Jimmy, if someone would like to get this software, is it available? It's available for free uh, from the Emerson.com webpage. Thank you so much for your time today, Jimmy. Thank you. And if you'd like to find out more, head to Emerson.com.